It's even to try try some things for God and see what happens. In the morning, your head won't hurt. In the morning, my back won't hurt. In the morning, my knees don't hurt. Am I pointing anybody else? I'm pointing myself out. But whose life am I talking about? My own. We've all been there. Oh, oh, amen. The Bible says that all have sinned and fall short of what? The glory of God. But thank God for what? Forgiveness. Second chances and redemption, right? So, so, so see, I'm talking to everybody who's been in the sound of my voice. We're in this together. We need to get out of this together. How do we get out of this with the love and the forgiveness of Jesus Christ? Accepting this gift of salvation. Y'all, I'm going to close. I've enjoyed this. We ought to do this more often. It's a wonderful thing. What are we doing? We're praising God. What will, what will we gain and, and acquire from this? There's a time we're going to look back and say, thank God, this is how we got over. This is how and why I made it. That's what this is about. It's a big old sorting pen. Y'all are big pigs. And we sort pigs all the time. God's going to sort through us as well. Yeah. And there's some are going to make it. But there's some who's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. You don't want to be in that group. But you don't want to be in that crowd. Because there is a time when that crowd is what? Not going to be the in crowd, it's going to be the out crowd. But there's somebody who's going to say, I got something for them, just send them right on down. But see, I don't know about that because I'm not going there, y'all. I, I can tell you about a lot of things, but I can't tell you about that. But I can tell you this. The Bible says it's a terrible place. The Bible says hell, fire, and eternal damnation. And it exists ongoing forever. There's no end as it is in heaven. But up there, it's a wonderful it's free. I'm going to say that again. In my life, everything I've, I've gotten, I had to pay for it. I had to work hard for it. That's what's wrong with me. That's why I stay up here still late. I've got this mentality. In some ways, I'm wired sideways. I want to work for everything. Make me hungry. Hey, that's why I work so hard. I don't want to be hungry. He's right. But see, with God, you don't have to earn it. And you make a, you, you make a valid point. With, and with him, he wants to give it to you. All you've got to do is accept it. Just accept it. Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And then take one step. Don't worry about five steps. Don't worry about next week. Don't worry about next month. Just take one step toward him and see, and see what happens. He's going to grab you by your hand. He's going to help. And then you take one more step. See, here's, here's what happens. We want to get to burning now. You get there mile by mile. We're going to get there step by step. But we have to be led by him. We have to grasp to his hand and hold on tight and go where he wants you to go. And here's what's going to happen. On the way to Vernon, on the way to heaven, we're, we're, we're going to look out and about and say, this is a wonderful time. This is a wonderful place. I can do this. Why can you do that? He fixed you so you can if you'll hold on to him. Y'all, I got to close. My time is gone. So I'm going I'm I'm to close in prayer. But if you don't get anything I've said, I want you to understand this. It's a free gift. No matter what anybody says, he's here for you. You be led by him. And you trust in him. And it's going to work out for your good. And don't worry about those closed doors. I do not miss what was on the other side of that door. But I sure look forward to stepping through more open doors in my life. And that is what I want for you, and he is ready. Lord, as, as I go and as we close, I pray that everyone here within the sound of my voice have heard from you, Lord. I pray that as each go forward, they will stop and take time and share it. Lord, I just pray that somebody here who has been concerned and worried about a, a closed door, I pray, Lord, that you will reach down and touch them and show them, Lord. These doors that you have in their lives, there's still more doors you have that are standing wide open. I just pray, Lord, that they will look and search for those and those doors and, Lord, experience these things that you have for me. In your name, Lord, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.